board cheap and reliable coins, head over to utnice.com and go to the checkout. Once you've picked the coins you wanted, use JT11 as the code and get yourself an extra 6% off on your orders. What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at my man, big boy Lukaku. He is an absolute beast very very nice player to say the least six foot three left footed he has got the freestyle skills unfortunately but he has got four star weak foot he is a player that is just a mountain to go through i thought you know what i want to try something different we was trying a bit of a star team and it wasn't quite gelling so we've went and got a, just a standard star team nothing too fancy it's just a well worked i thought i want to try a good team and one that I've actually bought a little bit of players from and see if it works for me. We've done two games, we've won two. Lukaku has been absolutely amazing in both, so I cannot complain one bit. With Lukaku, I played against him a handful of times and every time he just runs through and just bullies all of my centre backs. So I thought, you know what? We give him a go. And yes, he is absolutely fantastic. Like I say, he's what, 6'3", built like a brick. He's left-footed, which is always something nice. Not everybody knows that, but I feel like a lot of people are getting to grips that he is going to be on his left foot. But he does have the four-star weak foot as well. We have got power header and team player to go with. And he is partnered up with Evardi on his left and also Bernardo Silva behind him. Let's jump into him. He's got a hunt to run and see what Lukaku can do. First touch for Lukaku. He has got obviously Gomez that he's going against, but he is a big old unit. We're going to see if we can find. Ah, oh, why did Traore stop running? Traore as well being a unit and a half. Going to push it through, and it's just acceleration. I don't know what it is with him, but his acceleration is just magnificent. For we may have been able to find that gap, but most definitely with Lukaku, it is the strength. And, and I don't know if he, if he has had a little change in, in animations, because obviously we didn't really heavily lose him this year. And I think the one thing that I'm actually really enjoying from this FIFA is that people like a, an Inzaghi, someone like a Perlo, a Xavi, and then even up front, a Lukaku. A, I'm trying to think of other examples. Um, Zapata, I suppose, somebody who's more of a bigger, bulkier striker, is actually not bad in this game. And that's something a little bit more refreshing. Lukaku wanting it to feet. Got a bit of a burst of explosion. Why is he gone with his right foot? That was perfectly aimed at his left, but this is it. I think with Lukaku, he is strongly left-footed. Even with the four-star, I still think you do want to heavily rely on that left foot. But if you can get the right shot, the right power, you won't regret it with him. He has got a shot and a half, which hopefully we do display in this very, very well. We will constantly put it into his feet because he's just somebody who always gets the ball. That got very, very lucky. Got Go for the cross, Lukaku with the header, and what a goal, starting off beautifully with a lovely head, Leno is unable to do anything about that one, Lukaku sees it through to Adama, that's a cracking ball, gets the touch, it's not a great one, Spinzola's going to catch up and easily take that away from him, Lukaku into Bernardo, oh he's dancing but doesn't manage to do anything unfortunately, that's personally down to my play. Lukaku finding a ball in. It's the one thing as well that you do get with someone of Lukaku's stature is you get time. Obviously, the, the first initial kind of touch that they're going to get on you is not going to really shake him. It then takes multiple because of obviously how strong he is. It's going to take a few chances to actually get the ball away from him. So you do have a little bit extra time because of his strength and really what he can bring to the table, which in a brand new game when you're not necessarily autonomous in everything, that is absolutely vital at times. Bernardo Silva is going to whip a little peach in. Lukaku's going to go for the header, and it's a dream team performance. Bernardo Silva with the assist, and Lukaku with another head. Lukaku going for the run here. He's got Tomori chasing, but look at that burst of pace. Little dink, and what a save from Leno. But you can see that pace instantly. You would never get that on a Lukaku in any other FIFA, or I personally think anyway. Lukaku... Finds the ball over to Sterling. Can we get on it? Lovely ball, but it's not the greatest of touches. I think when you kind of go for that touch, you need a small touch first and then kind of judge the acceleration of it. But he's going to find it back, and it's a hat-trick for Lukaku. Again, showing what he can do. And actually on his right foot as well. Wins that back. Wins it again. Can we go for free for free there on the interceptions? I think for me as well with Lukaku, it's not even necessarily how good he is now. 
it's the fact that he is on form and I'm expecting team of the week. So I'm expecting very, very high level players from him um, or at least plays. And that's just going to be nuts. Like, imagine, like, a, a second player of the month, Lukaku, or a team of the year, team of the season. You're going to be absolutely nuts. He is a very, very good player in this. And I think it's only going to get worse for your defense if he does manage to get a first, second, third, or even a fifth in form. We're going to get a bit of burst of pace. Lukaku is absolutely flagging now. Going to have to go for that ball across. Unfortunately, can't find anybody. And that's the, another thing that I have found in this game is even in like the 80, 90 minutes now, I think substitutions are going to be absolute key. Centre-backs, defenders, midfielders. I think it's going to be tactics beyond anything because it seems that even defenders necessarily are flagging towards the end as well. We see in the bottom right there, Mings, um, Spinozola, all absolutely flagged. And it's just led to a chance. That can't happen at the end of a game. You think of foot champs, everything requires uh, more strategic kind of play. So that's going to be absolutely huge if you are looking at that. Obviously, as we get into the final um, periods of the game, it will go away with 99 stamina. But for now, it's something that you've always got to look at. So going into the big boy Lukaku's overall, 80,000 coins is what he's coming in at. I I think I probably spent about 80 and I probably can see him going up a little bit just because A, he is obviously, as you can see, coming out of um, packs very, very soon. So there's not really a need to do a one to watch Lukaku review and some of the one to watches, I'm interested to get your opinion. So if you are sub to the channel, I will be putting out like a poll very soon because if I do get the opportunity to go for a one to watch Ronaldo, do I still do the review and give my opinions on the one to watch? Or because I've done a review on Ronaldo, kind of skip him out really? So that'll, that'll be some input obviously from yourselves. But Lukaku most definitely is an absolute tank. He really does have it. And you can see, you put a hunter on him, 94 pace, 92 shooting, 83 physicality with 95 strength. Great head and accuracy, good reactions and composure. This card is only going to get better. He's an 88 and as soon as he hits the 90, 91, 2, 3, for you're just going to be asking for no more from him and I think they've done really really well to make him this good in this game so I'm hoping they don't patch it out the game where he doesn't become usable anymore I think it's going to be very hard now I do think there's a good balance at the moment maybe a couple of tweaks here there and everywhere will be, but we, the problem we know is with tweaks become massive changes so I'm kind of happy for them to just stick with what they've got at this moment in time until we get the full feel for it and kind of then we can have a look rather than patching it early on so we kind of just maybe get rid of the finesses so something else becomes more popular but Lukaku for me as a starter striker obviously coming in at a little bit more of an expensive price in comparison to everybody else I think he's second behind obviously Ronaldo with a massive price jump but in terms of the likes of Aubameyang Werner he is the next highest in terms of price and I do think he's worth every penny if you manage to get someone like a Werner or a Aubameyang with him even a Vardy to be honest with him wasn't awful but but I've been seeing good things about these two that you've got a pretty good pairing until you can obviously get yourself a CR7 into your Premier League team. Lukaku for me, I think overall wise at the moment, I'd have to put him at a, as a high rating because I do like him as a striker. If I want the Hunter on, I think it's only his agility balance that maybe has a slight issue maybe more on the balance side of stuff once he gets a couple of informs we can then see a really good striker somebody who's really good at holding and keeping the ball up top even more so so i'd give him a solid 9.8 i mean there's a couple of tweaks here there and everywhere like everybody really other than the top million coin players but i definitely think as a gold card he is absolutely solid so hopefully you did enjoy the video let me know down below what you think like and subscribe and i'll see you for the next one Peace.